Hello friends, welcome back to LMSDaily.com. In today's screencast, we will see about a Moodle plugin which is named as Filter Codes. The plugin which is essentially a filter type of plugin is a really fantastic and pretty useful plugin if you are looking to create dynamic content within your Moodle course. Now let me show you how it will create a dynamic course content for you. So please stay till the end and we will create a dynamic course content where you will be able to pull different elements from the user profiles as well as the other things into your course to make a personalized learning experience for your students. So let us get started. The plugin filter codes can be downloaded from the plugin repository and the link is given in the description section below. So you, you can download the plugin from that link. And now I will just show you how you can proceed with this plugin. So first let me download this plugin and it is downloaded. So I will now install it on my Moodle site. So I am logged in as the admin for this Moodle site, which is running a Moodle 4.3 version. So let me see if I can install this plugin because as of now I can see that it is compatible until Moodle 4.2 version only. So I will go to the install plugins page. And here I will choose a file and use that filter, filter codes. Now it will go through some certain checks for the plugin installation. So let us click continue here and then click continue. and let us click upgrade Moodle database now. So luckily we went through this installation of this plugin and these are the settings which are available for the filter codes plugin. So I will not uh, touch these default settings. I will leave them as it is and I will just click on this save changes button for this demonstration purpose. Now let me uh, go back to the plugins page on Moodle plugins repository and show you a bit of examples how this plugin can help you. I will not be able to show all of these demos uh, in this screencast but let me give you a glimpse of what this plugin is capable of doing. This can display certain content depending on the user's role. So if you are looking to display something which is available only for the students or only for the teachers you can use this plugin and create some filters based on this plugin for the roles and then you will have the ability to create links that normally requires the user's ID as part of the URL which is a bit technical but I will not explain this one as of now and then you can display alert type boxes display your list of available courses and categories on the front page as cards create your own pop-up help just like the Moodle does then you can create uh, uh, customize your uh, dashboard with dynamic content display course progress bar and percentage and you can easily display font or some icons almost anywhere and if you scroll down a bit you will see the list of the filter code tags which are available to be used so basically what this plugin does is if you are using any of these tags then it will display uh, the function which is mentioned here on the right side so if let me say that we would like to display the first name of the user in any piece of content then we will mention this and then it will automatically pull the user's first name and show it in the content. So now let us go back to our uh, Moodle demonstration and show how you can use this. Now let me go and check if this filter is enabled on my Moodle site. We have finished the installation process. So now I am back on the plugins page and now we need to scroll down a bit until this filters section and here we need to go to this manage filters. And here we need to scroll down slightly and then uh, where we have this filter codes you need to turn it to on. Now we have enabled this filter codes plugin on our Moodle site. Now we can use the tags which are mentioned on the plugins page on this site. Now let me show you by going to a course. And as of now, you can see that it is completely blank new course, which does not contain any learning activities apart from the announcements forum here. Now let me add a simple page resource. 
wherein we will just uh, display a text to the user depending on his username and pull the profile picture of that user so let us give it a name as user information i will leave the description field as blank and under the page content i will just mention hi and then we will use these tags here now i will go back to the plugins page and here let me say that i would like to display the full name of the user so we will mention full name and then welcome to our course i hope you will complete this course without any problems and now uh, let me say that i would like to pull the picture of that user here so i will go back to this filter codes page and then i will just look for the user picture uh, here so you can see that user picture image x so which will generate an html tag containing the user's profile picture so now let me pull this and instead of x we have to mention sm md or lg so i will use sm for this demo sm and then closing tags and then closing tags so kindly make sure that you are putting these curly braces as the closing tags and then uh, once you are done with your piece of text here for personalizing uh, the content according to the users just click on save and display and let us see how it will show it to me now you can see that it is showing the username here and as of now it is showing a blank profile picture for me because i don't have set any profile picture for this admin user account so now i will just show you by logging into another user account so let me log out from this admin account and log in as a test user here so now we are here on the course page and uh, i will just go to this page resource so as you can see now here the user name is displayed as well as the image for this user is displayed here so this is how you can create dynamic content for each user within your course now there are lot of different tags for admin users also which are pretty helpful to pull different type of information for the dashboard of admins as well as you can also put different type of ui elements like the course cards uh, different type of charts and then you have different type of uh, enrollment restrictions also so you can display the items to the users who are enrolled in the course or you can hide the information from the users who are enrolled in the course and vice versa then you can have the different categories tags custom menu urls and content and you can also use this uh, filter tag plugins along with uh, filter codes plugin with the content form which is another handy plugin and we will cover that in a separate screencast in future so this will help you to create uh, the content contact form templates according to this filter codes plugin so this is how you can use this filter codes plugin in your moodle site to create dynamic content for your students based on their user profile fields if you like this video please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon for our youtube channel and i really appreciate you watching till this point thank you very much for watching have a great day bye bye